Welcome, collectors. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Diecast Emporium. Today, I have another special treat to show you guys and preview. This is the Diecast Masters Transport Series Kenworth T880 SBFA, which, of course, as you guys know, if you've been watching these videos, stands for, say it with me, Setback Forward Axle Day Cab Pusher Axle Tandem Tractor. So, Pusher Axle, again, if it's just another way to say Lift Axle for... That's how most of us know it anyway. So again, the item number is 71058, and this is one of those Kenworth trucks that, if all things stay the same, which hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will, uh, will be hitting retailers at the end of uh, June, early July. So make note of that, because I constantly see questions popping up on social media when these will be available. As of now, best guess, end of June, early July. So with that out of the way, let's, again, take a look at the packaging. The Transport Series often follow the theme of matching whatever truck they represented. So Kenworth has red background, so there you go, red background up here. On the back, some pictures of the model depicting some of the features uh, that it can do as well as a description. So we have, again, the Packard MX-13 engine, 12.9 liters, anywhere from 380 to 500 horsepower, 1,450 to 1,850 pound-feet of torque, 2,200 RPM governed speed, and the hood is a five-piece mettened slope locational hood. This is a 2019 Packard International All Rights Reserved product. All right, again, this will be a review for most of you guys, but again, if you are... Uh, watching this or coming across this video for the first time or my channel for the first time. First off, welcome. Uh, and secondly, the way that you open transport series models is, well, you see this finger hole. Very simple. Stick your finger in and pull it out. And these models, uh, Diecast Masters, honestly, just has done... They, they have nailed it on packaging. Inside, we have our catalog. Again, this is a 2020 release. But inside, we have the 2019 catalog depicting their lineup. So later on this year, uh, we are expecting more transport series models. So if you guys are not familiar, I've got a little bit of news for you. So later on this year, so we've seen internationals. We've seen Western Stars. Uh, we've seen F Cat, obviously, with the CT660s before either of the two that I just mentioned. Uh, then late last year, they had Freightliners added. Uh, now we have Kenworths for the early part of 2020, and I'm happy to tell you guys that Diecast Masters has secured another licensee for another OEM, and it's going to be Peterbilt. Yes, they will be producing some Peterbilt trucks. Uh, so again, that's some great news. So expect to have an updated catalog later on in the year, and uh, again, some brand new Peterbilt models. All right. Inside, we have an instructional sheet that shows you the accessories that are included, such as a headache rack, an oversized load sign, and a deck plate that's pre-installed. Uh, so the way that you do this is if you don't like the deck plate, there's two screws underneath the truck, which again, I will show you that you remove, and you can put the headache rack in place of that. Very simple, very straightforward. Let's get on with the truck, which is what you guys all want to see. It is in a metallic white finish, and it doesn't disappoint. So the first layer... You have the oversized load sign, which is very eager to get out. Here it is. Right here. And there's your diamond-plated headache rack. So let's go ahead and pop that out real quick. Take a better look at that. And this is how it, again, mounts to the frame right here. These, And this is where your screws would go. Look at, I mean, seriously, look at the texturing on that. That is almost perfect. I mean, I, I, you can't ask for anything better. That looks exactly like the real thing. You have your lights up here and uh, your amber or orange main Whelan warning bar. Of course, it's not exactly licensed by Whelan, but that's exactly what it looks like. Uh, looks great. Wouldn't it be cool if we got to the point where uh, they could actually put some LEDs in this and made it functional? Hmm... Yeah, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? Just have to wait and see. All right. So the other accessories that we have are uh, the, the two plates that I said. Again, this is what you would put in if you don't want the headache rack. And then there's some screws right there. All right, let's take a look at this truck. Now, this model has something very, very, very special about it. 
that many of us have been wanting for a long time, and like Diecast Masters, has a long history of doing over their handful of years that they have been around, they have listened to us, they hear you, and they have, this is the model that they have introduced it. Can you guys figure out what it is? It is a working functional drop axle. So this truck has that on it. So right now, straight out of the box, it is in the raised position. As you can see right here, if I were to move this truck along, it is raised, so the wheels are not moving. However, you see this? I'm so excited over this stuff. I love this stuff. Pull down gently, gently. Boom. It is grounded, folks. See that? It lied to his parents, and it's now grounded. And just like the other wheels, freely moving. Love it. So this truck, again, with the uh, pusher axle or the lift axle, has a working drop axle. Yay! There you go, guys. All right. Additionally, this truck features everything that... Uh, most of the other trucks do, including the movable fifth wheel right here. So again, you can position the fifth wheel all the way up if you want to. Let's go ahead and do that right now. It's a little bit stiff when you first do it. Let's go. You can push it all the way up like that or all the way down or in the middle. So really, whatever you want to do, you can do it there with the fifth wheel. Your uh, mud flaps are rubber and flexible, which again is great to see. You have some painted on lights here at the rear. Your tires have different tread patterns depending on which axle they're on. Again, adding to the realism and immersion factor. Check out the detail of the chassis underneath. You have your engine, uh, drive shaft, some other components, obviously your tanks. Working steering, which is very good to see. So you can have Steering on the front axle, or on this axle, if you want, if this is dropped. Let's take a look at the hood. Underneath the hood, rather. And inside you can see the Packard name right there on the engine. These Kenworth trucks all feature opening doors on both the driver's side and the passenger side. And they do open up far enough where you can get a figure inside if you desire to do that. And I just want to make sure that I get this in a good shot. Check out, check out that metallic white paint. Looks pretty good. All right. So I said, you know, it, it comes with this installed. So if you don't want this, unscrew these two screws right here. And that's how you would put your... Um, headache rack, which would go right there. Obviously, it wouldn't sit that high because it would be screwed down. And then your oversized load would go on top of this, just like you've seen many, many times before. So that's not anything new. Uh, again, inside the accessories, you have two different exhaust stacks, which are, they're not different in terms of curved or straight up and down pipes like we've seen in the past. They're just different in length for these Kenworth trucks. Now, they do feature the same fifth wheel as all of the Diecast Masters trucks do. So, you can hook this up to the XL120 Low Boys, as I will demonstrate right here. So, there you have it. It's a little bit difficult to get all of this in the frame. Let's back up a little bit. There we go. There you have it. So if you are interested in purchasing these Kenworth trucks, again, I, I alluded to it at the beginning of the video, but again, it seems to be the most commonly asked question, and that's fair. I understand it completely. These trucks will be available at authorized Diecast Masters distributors uh, towards the end of June, early July, if all things stay the way they're supposed to do, so keep your fingers crossed. Um... So if you are interested in purchasing them, remember you can always pre-order them to make sure that you get yours. And again, I got to say, guys, these Kenworth trucks are very, very impressive. And uh, they look great with 
the cat equipment. And now you have the opportunity to to purchase the trailer by itself, the low boy trailer by itself, whereas before you were, if you wanted the low boy trailer, you kind of had to purchase either a, a tractor with it or a tractor and a piece of heavy equipment with it. But now you have the opportunity to buy this white version just by itself. You can buy just the tractor and then you can purchase just the low boy uh, trailer by itself without having to buy uh, a set that comes with a truck that perhaps you may not want to buy because of the color or for whatever reason. So if you guys have any further questions, please, as always, leave them down in the comments section below. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.